hello again. Um, we're clearly just keeping moving on. Uh, let's have a look at multiplication. Uh, multiply is the word that that comes from. Uh, sometimes we say times. Uh, sometimes we say lots of. Uh, other times we just say like seven sixes and we just put the two words back to back. Uh, anyway, multiplication. Uh, Let's have a look at a two-digit uh, by two-digit 37 times uh, uh, 56, that'll do. Uh, this is how we tend to, well, we still tend to teach it. Um, not always, but this is, this is common. Um, and uh, let's actually, just, let, let's just start with a grade of 24 students. Let's just see what happens to these kids. Uh, six sevens, all right, that's, that's fine. I know six sixes, because that's like a square number, it makes a square. Uh, so that's six six is a thirty six and another six. Uh, that'll take me to forty and then the two. That's forty two. Again, you don't get to write the forty two. You just get to write the two. That's it. It has the forty two, but mm -mm, you don't get to write forty two. You get to do a two and then you get to put a shrunken four up the top again. Uh, okay, so everybody's still alive, though. Ah, ah. Sadly, three kids just added these two numbers, which makes a big difference apparently. They've added these two numbers and then multiplied. So they've gone four plus three and they've done the six sevens again. Um, just lost three kids. You know, you have to go six lots of three, which is 30. But anyway, we say like six lots of three is 18 plus four is 22. So we've got to do 22. Terrific. Uh, now we do five sevens are uh, 35. But, oh, no. We forgot the magic zero. When I say we, mm, let's have a look. I reckon about nine kids have just forgot to put the magic zero. Uh, so we're down to 12 kids. We just lost nine because they forgot to put the zero in. And some, in some schools I've been in, they call it the magic zero or don't forget to drop the egg and just some bizarre things. Um, it's, you put a zero there because you're not multiplying by five now, you're multiplying by 50. So I get to say five sevens only if I remembered to put a zero here. So it's, it's not a magic zero, it's a place value zero. It's all about, like it's always supposed to be about place value. And this is okay to say six sevens. Here we really should have said six thirties, but, um, but here I can't say five sevens unless I put a zero there. Then I can call it five sevens, but this is not five, it's 50. Okay, so we're down to 12 kids, half. Uh, so five sevens are 35, put down the five, and now we use this word <coughs> carry, um, which just means shrinking a number. But we've got, uh, and putting it up the top up here of the hill, uh, five sevens, uh, which is 50 sevens, 350, there's a five, and, well, I've run out of room to put the three. I've just lost two kids in the room, not because they're not any good at maths, because they're untidy. It's they go, oh, there's no, oh, there's no room for the three. I think I'll put it up here. And uh, next minute, it's like, it's, 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 in with, it's in with today's date, and it's gone. So, um, Let's pretend that somebody managed to put it in the right place. Five sevens to third, five put down to five, carry to three. Five, three to 15, your three is 18. Now we've got the numbers, we've got two, we've got seven. Uh, this is actually 10 hundreds, I've made another thousand, make it full size. So there's our number, 2072. Just remember that was our number, our answer. Now let's try this. 37 times 56 again. But, well, if you, actually, I'll do one step before this. If you want to keep some of this method, you can do this. We can go six lots of seven if you want to, but I want to hear you realise that that's, that is 42. It's 42. So just write 42. That's all you need to do. The order you do this makes no difference. Otherwise... Uh, seven tens wouldn't equal ten sevens. It's, the order makes no difference. Um, so I can go up here, I just did that. Uh, if I wanted to now, I could, I could go across here. And, but I need to know 
This was, we had six sevens got me to this. This one I'm doing 50 times seven. So I've, I've done this, I'm, I'm sort of working through the seven. I've done six sevens, but now I'm going, this is not five, it's 50 from 56. So I know five sevens are 35, so 50 sevens are 350. Uh, now now I, I'm, I could go up here, I might go over this way, I'm gonna do six threes, except it's not three, it's 30. So I've got to do six thirties, uh, so I know three threes are nine, so it's double that, that's 18, so that's gonna be 180. And then my last one is 50 30s or 30 50s, five threes are 15. So 53 would be 150, so 50 30s would be 1500. And you know what that's going to add up to, we've got a two. Uh, I've got a, uh, I've got a near, so I oh, guess if I put a four and a five, I've got a nine. Nine and eight's a near double, because nine, nine is 18, so that's gonna be 17. That's 17 tens. There's my 70, there's my big 100. And so now I've got, uh, well, we, I hope it's going to add up to where we want it to add up to for. Sure enough, there is 10 hundreds there, and I've made another thousand, 2072. Cool as. This part's important, but you can drop that later on. But no having to remember the magic zero, no shrunken numbers. Just go for it. All right, let's do this. This is, uh, oh, I don't know, I like it, but it's a, it's a, it'd be up to to you, how you feel about this. Try it, would all, always be my thing. Um, well, I might need a little more room, so as long as we have a, a memory of that, I'll just have to, I need to get rid of it, sorry. Just need a bit of space for this. So it's 37 times 56, so I'll just make myself a grid for this. And I know that's not in the middle. I've done that on purpose. So that's just a way of letting you know that the big numbers are uh, probably going to come to these two here. Put my multiplication symbol up there. All right, now it's a matter of filling in the grid. When I'm in the classroom, I normally just dangle my whiteboard marker and wait for some of you to come out and just do something. And sure enough, kids go, well, that looks like you just fill in the grid. Yeah, it's just working a grid. Um, so I'm holding it out, uh, out, uh, out comes Mustafa and he goes seven fives, I know that, seven fifties, 350. Uh, out comes Isabella, she goes, the three, I know six threes, 18, so six thirties are 180. Somebody comes else comes out and fills in 42. Somebody else comes out and fills in. So you're just working the grid. This was 30 fifties. This was 50 sevens. This was six thirties. This was six sevens. It's just place value each time. Now you have options. You actually can add, I might need a little bit of space here. You can actually add out to the right. This is 1500 plus another 300, that's 1800. This is, this row adds up to eight, uh, 1850. This row adds up to 222. And now I can add normally. Or I, I can uh, also go uh, and look at it vertically. This is 1680. This is 392. And then I can do my thing with bringing the numbers down. Um, I know I've got a thousand here. I've got a 600 and a 300, so I know I've got a 900. And I've got an 80 and a 92. So I've got myself 172. And then I'll just go on to sneak under the board here. I know I've got a thousand and I bring these two down, which is a thousand and seventy-two, and that's going to bring me two thousand and seventy-two, which is the answer. All right, that's called the grid. Place value everywhere, and a very good. Very good method for doing multiplication. It works for three digit by two digit. It works for seven digit by seven digit. It will always work. Have a try at it, see how it goes. Thank you.